Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Aini My registration number is A1M2 Okay uh, uh, Many teachers report that Their management problems Decrease dramatically Once they switch uh, Switch to Cooperative learning The reason is that in the traditional classroom There is a mismatch between the needs of the students and the structure of the classroom. The cooperative management style. Teachers' role cooperative learning frees the teacher during teamwork time. The effective teachers use this time for auto think out out thinking, assessing, compression, obs- observing, and consulting, keeping the class on on task. Evaluating the lesson and working with individual students or or teams. Out, authentically assessing understanding. At this point, we get everyone's att- attention and clarify instruction. It is much more efficient to prevent misunderstanding than to patch patch up after a mis misunderstanding has occurred. Keeping team keeping teams on task. Visiting with teams help keep keeps team keeps teams on task. Our physical proximity encourages students to stay focused and do not engage in off text behavior. Observing and consult observing and consulting. One student are working well in their in their teams. It's not time for us to start grading papers. We continue to circulate to observe and consult. With teams, responsibility for the task and the learning remains with the student. Evaluating lesson design. As we work around checking on students, evaluating lesson design. As we work around checking on students' interaction, we gain insight into teamwork dynamics. This is a wonderful time to ask the past question to check for the implementation of the principle. Plus. P for positive interdependence does does the success of one produce a benefit for another? Is the ask impossible to do with hard cooperation? I individual account, accountability is a public performance by its student required. E acquire participation is the participation about equal as simulations interaction are many students offered interacting or engaging at once next working with individual or teams once students have learned to work as teams we are free to consult with terms or individuals who need help who who need help we may organize pull out programs for individuals with similar learning or pro- learning problems so they may receive special tutoring as a group Uh, next, positive attention and recognition. Positive attention. Positive attention. Giving positive attention has several additional positive outcomes beyond shaping the behavior of our of our class. We model behavior and attitude. We hope student will adopt and student like teachers more who create a positive tone. Recognition. Recognition is another way to give positive attention in the classroom. Recognition is public celebrating an individual team or the whole class success in a form in a form of in a form other than teacher praise. Recognition can take a number of forms. First, class newsletter. Second, class money or po- class money or points. Third, awards for positive letter home. Five team or class reward. Six public applause or bow. Seven celebration board. Eight team or class cheers. Positive verbal attention and recognition promote a positive class at atmosphere and encourage team to work hard and behave well. Students know their efforts are recognition. Mm. Next team. Next team. Chinese management. A simultaneous rather than sequential management style eliminates downtime when distributing, ma- distribu- distributing material, answering questions, and forming teams. Next, answering question. 
the traditional sequence, sequential approach to answering questions in a classroom for the teacher to have all students wait while the question of one student is answered because questions are relevant to only a few students. Uh, the traditional approach means the time for most students. Mm, next, forming teams. One teacher had attempted to manage to manage a cooperative classroom using a sequential structure or reading the names one at one at a time, while the other teacher used a simultaneous structure, everyone up and moving at once. Uh, the simultaneous management technique saves save times and creates greater student self reliance and a more positive class tone with less and dead time. Mm. Next, distributing materials. Some teachers use a sequential approach to distributing materials. They work around and hand out a worksheet to each team and at a time in sequence. Next, taking role. Calling, calling, and calling on one student at a time. Take, take role steals learning time. A more effective, a more effective approach is to have an and in board when students put themselves in each day as they enter class, simply moving a clip or magnet or making a check mark on a dry erase board. Uh, next, sharing answers. Many structures have simultaneous sharing board in instead of calling of on student one one at a time. We can have our student respond by holding up, holding up an answer board signaling their response with a thumbs up or down or sharing fingers uh, next give direction giving direction to group is an art the following principles help first verbal and written direction some students are better auditory learners and other are better visual partners uh, second bite size bits give give in give instruction a bit at a time, do not give more instruction at a time than our teams can can perform without asking for clarification. Six treasuring. This management problems occurred be, because the teacher did did not know the power of treasuring. Know the power of treasuring uh, for selecting to select things, students and teams. In the cooperative classroom, students work frequently teams of four, of force and in pairs. Five modeling. Too often we try to provide instruction by talk. A far more efficient approach is modeling. Six checking for understanding. After giving instruction, we need to check for understanding. The following are some structure and method that work well for checking for student for understanding. First, choral, choral practice. Second, simultaneous sharing. Third, seldom number heads together for round table and round robin. Seven, structuring. Structuring is cultivating the behavior of students within the steps, the steps of a structure. Next, cooper, cooperative management signals. In the, cooperative, in the cooperative classroom, signal, signals are not just from teacher to student, but also from student to teacher. For example, in, instead of asking students if they are done or having to run around and check with groups, the teacher puts in place a visual signal for complete work, and at any moment, he or she knows how many students have finished tasks. Next. Over my head and slow down. The two signals are the over my head signal and the slow down signal. If a student does not understand the teacher, the student waves an open hand palm down over her or his head, signaling the content is over my head. If the teacher is going too fast for a student to keep up, the student places two hands, palms touching in front of her or him, and then slowly move the hands apart, signaling for the teacher to slow down. Next, I need a partner. In a number of class building structures, students get out of their sets and pair up with different partners multiple times. 
Next, we're finished. Sudden and teams finish their assignment for work at different rates. Hmm. Next, think time. Think time is an important step in many structures. It improves the quality of students' responses and encourages more students to participate. Next structure, the class can create simple signal of frequency, use cooperative learning structures such as time parser and the round robin family of structure. Cheating. In the context of cooperative procedure, procedure are rehearsal. Correcting the context for cooperation procedures. Procedures are rehearsal, class room behavior pattern for repeats even for example the class is busily interacting in teams and teacher wants to get students attention first things first we start with procedures the, the day students step in our class next never too late ideally we, we would know all the potential management problems and put, and put procedure in place to prevent those problems Next, teach practice and retage procedures. The best way, the best way is to show student to just student the new behavior sequence is for us to model it, or for us to work with a team to master the procedure and have the team model it. Next, re reinforce the procedure. Complement go a long way to maintaining procedures by student for successful implementation of procedures. Next, cooperative expectation. In the cooperative classroom, we set positive expectation rather than imposing class rules. Next, generous, generating class expectation. When students participate in developing class and team expectation, they live up the, to the expectation for more than when expectation have been imposed on them. Next, variation. First, the team expectation. Each team, the team expectation. Each team generates their own class expectation and shares their expectation with the class. The class use some some drawings to select their favorite set of expectation to adopt as a class. Second, add consequence. The class can sum up with their with far consequence for far filing to live up to class expectation. Next, setting up the room. Sitting in the comparative learning classroom is arranged to accommodate student times and frequent cooperative interaction. Next, interior loops. One way to allow frequent and easy access to our student is is to arrange team decks with inter with an interior interior loops. A path you can a pet you can work with within the group of decks. Next, managing attention. Managing noise during independent work is quite different than noise management in the cooperative class. Next, the quiet signal. Some teachers spend an er enormous amount of time and energy trying to get their classroom quiet and trying to get the attention of all their students. Next, immediate, immediate attention. The five count to emphasize that expect for others' attention in under five seconds. I tell student that if it, uh, if it ever, ever takes over five seconds to get our hands quiet and our eyes on me, we will stop everything and practice for the quiet signal. Why? Next, quiet signal variation. In self school and school district, they have adopted the hand of quiet signal. The best signal around are fun and require a student response a compatible with continued talking and walking here a few alternative. Give me five. Teacher raise a hand with five fingers spread, spread apart. The five fingers are to remind the student of five rules. First, as and as on the speaker. Second, quiet. Still be still for hands hands free five listen to elementary for high school. On the Kagan online discussion board, a high school teacher voiced her concern that the quiet signal just wouldn't work with the stud with her study. Next managing noise. The 
The quiet signal is ideal for quickly getting students to focus on the teacher, but as an noise management method, it is inefficient. Next one, sound level training. Noise escalation can have a domino effect in the classroom. If your team is loud, my team will speak louder so we can each, so we can hear each other. Next, voice level. Different voice level are appropriate for different tasks. We teach students through voice level. First, not talking. Independent work, not talking allowed. Second, partner force. Parts must be quiet enough not to be heard by the other parts on their scene. Next, or three, team voice. Team must be quiet enough not to be heard by neighboring teams. Next, choral response. The teacher has a verbal cue that indicates to students they need to quiet down. Next, noise reduction or signal. There are times. We want to remind students to keep their noise level down, but don't need absolute absolute silence. No, not want to interrupt with their project or activity. Next, stop play cards. When the teacher plays a green card on the decks of teams, if their voice level is fine, a yellow card if they need to tone down a bit, or a red card if they need to become completely silent and count to ten before resuming interaction. Next, background music. To calm students and make quiet work more likely, we play shooting background music or sounds during team interaction times. Next, mechanical noise monitor. The Yaker Tracker is a commercial noise monitor. It looks like traffic light and allows us to set different acceptable sounds level in decibels. Next, student self monitoring. Student can Students can become alert in monitoring noise by using a few simple strategies. First, quiet captain. Each team has a quiet ca captain whose job is to remind students if they have become too loud. Second, class class noise monitor. We can assign one student the role the role of noise monitor. Third, team noise crew. If a neck boring team gets too loud of or the class is too loud in general, teams can cue that class to quiet down and watch their noise level. Next, team noise cue. If a neighboring team gets too loud or the class is too loud in general, general teams can cue the class to quiet down and watch their noise level. Next, managing time. When team work an activity project, they will finish at different time. Next, point the activity. Spawn activity sucks up sudden extra time. It is a sudden or team self directed activity that sudden turn to when they finish their work assignment tasks. Next type of spawns. The spawns activity may be for, may be for the entire team or for sudden to work on independently. Next, assignment spawn. There are uh, a number of ways to inform the class with what to do if they finish early first announcement as we in first announcement second post uh, chill spawn center or area and then on the assignment next spawn structure and then spawn center Okay, next managing material. In cooperative learning teams, so many materials simple procedure help us effectively man man manage team material. Next, team tops and packs. Team tops are material storage stuff that are usually placed in the center of the team table. Team bins. In addition to or instead of a team top, we can use a team bins. Next, collecting and distributing. Work on material save time and keep students from getting restless by putting in place an effective procedure for passing out a picking up work and materials. Next, managing energy. One of the unspoken tasks of a good teacher is to orchestrate energy level in the classroom, getting them up. A student sit 
for any prolonged time the supply of oxygen increases to brain vessels and they feel less and less are next bringing them down sudden carbon change in the in from races and they are to warm, warm up to concentrate and wait to energy to start working together next sudden and team problems international problems will arise when using cooperative team conflict is an inevitable in the cooperative classroom as it it is in life next preventing team problems to prevent team problems we avoid forming potentially problems teams and instead create a positive and cooperative classroom environment by requiring some bonding class building and ensuring positive independence in a place next dealing dealing with team problems instituting prevent preventative procedure reduce management and discipline problems dramatically but does not eliminate our problem are a problems for, for these problems we need a different set of strategies okay i think that's all thank you very much